Hi, welcome. This is the energy of today, September 29th. I hope you're doing well. Spirit, what is the energy for today, September 29th? What does the viewer need to see and hear for today? September 29th. Okay, so let's see here. The courage. So this is breaking out of a free mold. Um, a mold that you can't get out of maybe. This is taking your free will and just changing things. With your courage, with your strength, with your inner knowledge. That kind of thing. Very fiery, kind of passionate energy here and justice so my gosh the the scales of justice are tipping this has definitely been that year of karma and where all the karma is catching up whether it's negative or good okay i do feel like this is that place where um <clears throat> we're being led into some kind of karmic justice and it could come from a place of either within your own family structure or within maybe a job but it definitely feels like it's on a mass scale as far as the world okay so this is definitely that sense of um decisions that have been left unmade there's a time to re re re, re, re negotiate like so things that haven't really been settled they're going to be settled now okay so this is important to remember that the universe supports those who stand in truth and integrity so are you standing in that justice are you tipping the scale to go more towards more towards the dark versus the light so is this where you have to question something for yourself and then you have the answers so these answers will come to you if you ask and these are answers that will come intuitively uh through your spirit guides through through your your god um connecting to the universe whatever that might be for you i do feel like a lot of things are being brought to the surface where maybe you didn't get answers before but they're being brought to the surface so you can see them plain in day plain and and clearly okay but like i said are you tipping the scale to go more towards dark or more towards light it's a question you have to ask because there is that courage here that there is something that needs to change maybe is, is that standing up or speaking your truth or not living in the dark anymore i mean these are definitely things that you might have to question for yourself okay um and with the answers it's almost like you can find wisdom deep down inside through your higher self, through your spirit guides, through your angels. Um, and once you do start asking questions to your angels and your spirit guides, you will get answers. Even though you might not believe in this sort of thing, it's what's trying to happen. We are in this kind of spiritual war. If you don't see it, it's happening. Uh, where the, the darkness is really trying to just really engulf the the light and but it's not going to happen guys this is karmic justice that's coming in but some might be left behind and that's sort of sad um let's see this is also like are you seeking approval in the wrong place okay you have to question that for yourself and then the forgiveness card oh boy this is a this is a big one because i mean i've definitely done a lot of readings and i've told people you sort of have to forgive yourself and forgive others and when i say you have to forgive yourself i get so many emails and questions and comments of what do you mean i have to forgive myself well if you think that you have never done anything wrong to anybody else you're very selfish and it's almost that sense where you have to come out of that way of thinking because you're tipping the scale more towards darkness okay so Forgiveness is a big umbrella. I don't know. Do you forgive the things that happened to you as a child? Do you forgive the things that you have done to other people? Um, when you come to that place where you get out of the pride mode with the courage card here, you really allow for peace to sort of come in and really surrender you really. So um, that that is a big one. It really is a big one. And you would just be amazed of all the sort of feedback i've had when i talk about forgiveness so 
it is the thing that will allow us to break free into break free into a more peaceful state of living rather than holding on to the darkness okay so maybe it's time to free free yourself from hurt from anger anger i'm sorry from betrayal it's time to let it go be kind to yourself be kind to others give yourself permission to be forgiven and forgive others okay um this is really that time of really paying attention to your actions and um you know don't hold judgment against yourself and hold judgment against others and really shaming others in disapproval or vice versa maybe you're doing that to yourself you know so this is really where you soothe your heart and really radiate love in order to change the situation that we're in okay um at the top of the deck and that is really what it feels like empowerment okay um you're freeing yourself from the old from the old dia di diagram um paradigm sorry i don't know why i say diagram and i know i want to say paradigm but those old paradigms those old beliefs the things that um cause you to maybe keep going in the wrong direction or maybe you're seeing those things now and you're breaking free from them which really empower you okay um i do feel like this is you being illuminated and you being able to make better choices for yourself um, not for others for yourself the bottom of the deck and this is what it feels like and it's funny because i did shuffle off deck off camera i'm sorry and this one popped out and it's definitely spirit guides this is there are spirit guides they are trying to guide you into the sense of alignment into the sense of synchronicity into the sense of balance now you are are you ignoring those warnings uh, because the courage card is really something that you have to break out of the norm and you really have to find your free will and really stand up for yourself. What is the situation that you are dealing in? Is it in the environment? Is it the community? Is it that sense of, you know, you're not allowing reciprocity to come in for you? Um, I definitely do feel like there is that sense of needing to change something, but it comes from where you allow yourself to to change this sort of, I don't know, is it complacency? Um, yeah, maybe you just are overwhelmed and, you know, sort of holding on to fear and not really allowing a big change to impact your life in the future you know these are the things that you need to question because the spirit guides like i said they're really trying to bring you together if you ask your your angels you will get answers okay so take it as it resonates for you today i will go a little deeper with these and um i do feel like the underlying energy you're really being guided to balance yourself so that you can get into that good commitment that you want whether this is in business and family and love you, this is where you question okay um i can only tell you so much is what i'm trying to tell you so let's see here let's see what these mean for you welcome for being here i always appreciate you guys i love you guys being here every day and taking time out of your day to get some kind of guidance and someday i will have my channel back to what it used to be before 2020 and i look forward to that day i really do um let's see here i want to know it will happen it will i want to know what is the courage about here what is the courage so you got the emperor taking charge with your emotions starting over your vulnerabilities fixing the vulnerabilities what else please what else okay so let's see this one as well um learning to to be stable within your own um that's what i feel with the three the the, um, the five of pentacles it's like have you had a lot of loss has that loss really guided you into uh, either staying in fear and not moving or 
is this time to really take control of the situation and start over again. In other words, clear the way so that you can start winning, so that you can start getting out of loss, so that you can start getting out of a victim mentality or codependency or whatever that might be that's that's lingering with you you got the page of wands and the ace of swords so this is determination this is you seeing the light um and we did start off with the emperor so is this for your twin flame or is this for you is this where you take control of your situation and you become stable and once you do that things just just really start to flow in for you you don't quite remember all the loss and all the grieving that you've put yourself in um this is where you cut cut clear and free of any negativity of anything that's not truth of anything that's misleading of anything that you've done that was misleading or um maybe this is you getting back your control did you give your control to someone else if you do not manage your mind and you don't control your mind someone else will definitely do it for you okay so with the page of wands and the the page of cups i just really feel this sort of energy of um starting new going towards the new things growing um intuitively um spiritually um really cutting out the bs with the ace of swords where you can see through the lies uh when you wake up fully you, your body, your gut, that's where your intuition is, is in the gut, okay? I always feel like the, the gut should really be the brain of the operation, but it's not what we've been taught because when you have those gut feelings, they're an indication of you're going down the wrong path. But when you have the Ace of Swords and you're truly awake, your courage is sort of, gosh, it just exuberates over the fear and the complacency that I feel the Ace of Swords is really trying to tell you or maybe trying to make you figure out what it is that you need to cut free of um, and really stand up for yourself. I do feel the Ace of Swords is trying to show you all the negative things um, that maybe you've been pushing yourself towards or uh, what I mean by that is going into the same sort of... Um, putting yourself in the same situations okay is this where you're taking control of that and you you're able to start over again with the page of cups in that sense of um things that come from the heart things that you're able to sort of uh draw towards you or maybe extend to others okay i do feel it's a masculine energy that is really cutting out the bs and maybe this energy of staying loathing and somewhat in a shameful kind of state of mind because maybe you've they've realized that they've caused a lot of the issues for themselves do you know do you see what i mean like there's something there there's that strength there's that sense of healing from those things because once you see the light and you truly awaken your gut will not allow you to believe lies and this is what's happening really um it's like you just don't question it you just know that feeling you're like oh lie that's a lie that lie cannot be truth you know um so have you been living a lie is what i'm trying to say is that what you're masculine or you are discovering i want to know what is the ace of swords please what is the ace of swords um so the ace of pentacles this is where see you want that new beginning you want the fresh start but there's the eight of swords where you block yourself because you're still sort of trying to live in the past the past being those controlling issues the past being living in lies um with the eight of swords it's like you really have to overcome those things so that you can get the new things that you want okay so is it money did you lose money? Was everything about money? Um, do you feel that you're not being drawn to money anymore so much? It's more of a natural kind of peaceful state of being. Is that what you're cutting out? And once you cut out that, 
that money factor. It's when you start a start being enlightened and more things come in for you because you're not resistant anymore. So is this about love? Is this about love or is this about just getting over the things that held you back from growing? Um, is this what is happening to you or your masculine? Masculine or feminine? Okay. I want to know what is this justice? What is the justice here? What is the justice, please? The justice. What is the justice? And like I said, it's karmic justice, guys. Um, it's the year of karma. Have you been doing good or have you been doing bad? The Ten of Pentacles. So as I look at this Ten of Pentacles, you're evolving into a whole new person. And this whole new person that you're evolving to is going to allow you to attract the happiness, the success, the family, the security, the, the st stability. Um, if you have been stagnant and somewhat Ooh, what is the word they're saying it's um you've settled for less it's like you've settled for less it's like the karmic justice there is saying no more of that um if you've been settling for less it's because you think maybe there's nothing better for you um maybe you're scared to take that leap of faith into starting a new family a new relationship maybe leaving one that's very toxic or maybe that's a job or family that you've been sort of stuck in, okay? But you sort of have to recreate yourself and step out of the mold to have that success in that Ten of Pentacles, okay? What is the Ten of Pentacles? And we've been lied to about finances and we've been lied to about money and that causes that struggle and that loss and that is gonna change, I guarantee you, the judgment. So releasing those things that you've settled for you've settled for a lot of lies and it's time to change it now are they li are they lies that you believed about yourself or are they lies that the society or that paradigm has told you to believe in okay um judgment is a powerful card and it's very hard because surrender and let go of it, they just seem so simple to say but they're very the the very hardest things to do are you surrendering and you letting it go so that you can have your success if you want that success that surrender is needed and it is the surrender of this 3d plane the materialistic stuff the money driven stuff the betrayal the lies okay um what is i want to know what is the judgment give me one for the judgment here um judgment please so you have the moon, the four, four of swords, and the ace of wands. So great. I feel like that is great energy in that sense of, you know, you can allow yourself to change. You can allow yourself to touch into the vulnerabilities, the, the things that scared you without being scared. You can touch on these things. You can ask your spirit guides for clarity. Uh, this is change this is evolving from fear this is being aware of those things that you feel in your stomach okay the moon it's trying to reveal a lot to you um to the place where you come to a place of being able to end and break free from things it brings you peace and that sense of serenity so that you can start allowing yourself to focus on the new on the way you want to live your life in the future, the things that you want around you, the people that you influence you, the people that you want around you, um, recreating your job, recreating your home, recreating your family. Um, there's a lot going on, guys. My gosh, um, you have to take it as it resonates. It's not going to fit everybody, but I feel it's on a mass scale that this is happening because there is a great future, but you hold the key to unlocking it do you stay in the past do you stay in those lies or do you start over again and do you start conveying the things that come from your heart and you start growing from those things of passion and love but not passion like the devil passion energy like um you know codependencies and maybe sexual attractions and seductive things these are natural things these are things that um allowing your true power to come out for you, okay? So be very careful of, when I say passion, it's 
It's more of the things that drive you to to succeed and change, okay? What are the answers that they're getting? What are the answers? So the King of Wands, it's time to stand up and take charge. Recreate that new beginning for yourself. This is another masculine energy. The Emperor and the King of Wands. So is this the ma masculine energy sort of transforming and coming back? Meaning they have demascul demascu okay they have taken the masculinity out of our environment and it's done on purpose and it's time to get it back okay it's, it's really time to just sort of stop being complacent to the old energy and go f towards the new so what is coming in with this king of wands what is this king of wands what does the king of wands mean so <clears throat> the hermit um Starting a new spiritual journey, looking at yourself differently, uh, focusing on the true things that you want to acquire and to accomplish, taking charge in this sort of new spiritual way of being, letting go of the darkness that really has held on to us for centuries. And it does affect you because it's a it's a family sort of karma cycle that I see happening through decades and centuries where we keep sort of bringing the same karma into the new lives. So I see this as you standing up to the new spirituality that is being brought to us now, in the now, okay? Um, what is the hermit? What is the hermit here, please? What is the hermit? Um, the world. So see all new things um, starting over, resetting us on a positive vibe versus the negative vibe okay um mastering things accomplishing don't be scared to let go of the things that don't serve you any longer so that you can transform because i see with the ten of pentacles i saw it early on you've settled for less and now it's time to gain more okay is this a person i was gonna say is this a person is this your self-being your self-worth with the strength card okay um so there's a lot of things to sort of question i feel okay let's see what is that strength card what is the strength card i think this king of wands is getting the strength to shed the old and that will set them up for starting new conveying the way they feel for starting the new the new jobs the new relationships whatever that is that freedom to have success and that justice so is this somebody going through a divorce and finally shedding the negative energy is this somebody who's just breaking free and being somewhat um self-reliant self-worth um having a great self-worth for themselves there's definitely that karmic justice happening so very nice i mean this could be a person that's going through a divorce finally maybe breaking free from something okay um, what is the forgiveness? What is the forgiveness? And like I said, a lot of people think, I mean, they come on these twin flame readings and they think that it's not about forgiveness, but that is the key answer I have always. And I will always stick by that. You have to forgive yourself and you have to forgive what others have done to you. That is the only step really. Look at that six of cups and temperance. So what am I telling you? You want to come back to that twin you got to let go of the things from the past and vice versa they have to do the same thing but it's in divine timing that is putting this puzzle together here with the temperance so healing connecting spiritually coming back to that kindred spirit is this the person i was even starting to say when the strength card scarred uh, the strength card came out is it towards a person is it towards a way of being is it family what is it let's ask so we all know the six of cups denotes a partner coming back um it also denotes that sense of going back to basics being simpler um not being tied to materialism okay um being able to roam freely um having harmony what is the six of cups please the six of cups the six of cups i feel it's this king of wands wanting to make that new beginning 
that new relationship um, and allowing themselves to do it without settling, okay? Um, six of Cups, please. A Six of Swords. You got two sixes. So, um, <coughs> excuse me, guys. Oh, throat chakra. Um, I do feel like this is somebody who's coming out of a battle. Um, that's what it depleks. It's you being able to move out of hardship. Is it hardship of losing money? Is it hardship of losing all the time that you stayed complacent in one situation? Um, let's see. What is the temperance, please? Oh, boy. The two of cups. I'm telling you. This is somebody that wants to come back together because you're soulmates. You're twin flames. Um, and then the ones that came out are, see, there's that worry. But that worry is going to be diminished with temperance, you see. And that's why the throat chakra, boy. Ooh, guys, I'm telling you. Just wait for it. Nine of swords. Let go of that worry and let nature, let God do its, its work here. Believe in it. But you have to do your part and let go of the stagnant energy of living in a lie. Um, Eight of Wands and the Sun. Oh boy, I love it. What do you see in that sun? Healing, having, coming together, taking action, really love. I think this is love. This is allowing. This is somebody allowing love in, guys. Um. The sun is the masculine energy. The moon is the feminine energy. We have both on the board. There is balance here. And it, if you haven't seen it yet, it is coming. And so perhaps you've been waiting for that divine timing for your partner or for you to be able to surrender to this love. Because there is love here. There is a great love here. Um, and I do see somebody having success. Okay. Um things are unraveling mysteries are, are being um sort of told secrets are being told the old stagnant energies are sort of leaving okay if you haven't seen it yet maybe you have to work a little harder okay to be able to see it um i want to know how does the story end i had a big meditation guys when i have meditations they come through very like in poetic justice like very I don't know. I don't know if you can tell, but I can tell. I feel. Okay. Um, I want to know, what is the outcome here? They come out very poetically, I think. And it's like, not the way I talk, but it's what they want to convey. So I love it. Putting down the obligation, putting down those lies that you've been carrying and really being complacent to. What are they, guys? Living the false life, really. You have a free pass to get past it now. And it's because you're following your true path as far as spiritually. This is God calling you to this new journey. Okay. And then walking away. And you see there is that sense of walking away from someone or something that is not serving you anymore. And it is okay. And you got the two of cups twice. So is this that spiritual belonging that you belong to? Meaning that is your soul. That is the person that you belong with. So it will happen. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. Uh, let's take this one over here. You got to grab it. You know, I just stacked cards on, on top of cards. So I have to get the right ones. Okay, let's see. What can you show me as far as this karmic soul connection? There is a soul connection here. What can you show me of it, please? Can you show me? What can you show me, please? Patience. They say patience, okay? This is coming to you because you've had patience. Uh, beginning and a fresh start, okay? Um, balanced partnership. That's what you've been patient and sort of forming and having limitations those limitations are being sort of dropped off prepare for change um joyful times and the soulmate so really a, a very powerful connection here i feel 
Um, let's see here. Uh, I want to know how do they continue to manifest this? How do they continue to manifest this, please? Okay. So they did fall out. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> so it says magic happens when you most expect it so expect change expect this to happen but be patient with it let divine timing bring it to you okay um and then fall in love with your own story so you have to love yourself guys you can't love someone else if you don't love yourself okay so maybe that is the change that is happening here i want to know what is the affirmation for today please what is the affirmation? So it says, Today I am respectful. Today I will acknowledge other people's thoughts and feelings as well as my own. Very nice. Okay. Um, let's see here. What is the universal message here? So it says, When I am connected to my joyful presence i attract support from the universe yes the universe works fast when i'm having fun yes so a lot of times you want to change things and you're wondering why god hasn't answered your prayer it's because either you're pushing too hard and you're not having fun you're worried about your you're worried about when it's going to happen and that puts too much control into it i hope that makes sense okay um so what can you show me as far as the mystery of love? Mystery of love for them. Okay, so, um, yeah, see, this is true love. You know, if you're without this true love, it's because it's being worked out, okay? Um, sensuality and the tribe. So... Uh, really clearing paths to be in the right tribe okay um let's see here let's do this one right here what is the abundance abundance message and you have um your path so dear lord help me trust that there's a path far beyond what i can see through my fears and illusion and definitely that is what's happening here. So break through the illusions that they're trying to hold you in. And karma, there's nothing from the past in life that can't be addressed in the current life. So let go of all those karmic things that happen to us from one life to another, okay? Um, let's see, what is the insight here for this reading, please? What is the insight here? Okay. So it says, uh, follow your inner being. Act on the nudges. Your inner being is pushing you towards, you know deep down exactly what you want and exactly what will bring you joy. Okay. Um, let's see here. I want to know. I want to know what are the two souls telling each other what are they telling you what are they telling each other at this moment um it says everything you need your courage your strength compassion and love everything you need is already within you okay and then the reason it hurts to be okay the reason it hurts so much to separate is because our souls are connected and so I do feel like there is a separation going on here between you two. Um, I don't think that it's not fixable. I think that you have to know whoever needs to work on themselves more. It's like you need to know everything is inside of you. I want to know what is the chakra message here, please. The chakra message. What is the chakra message? Okay, so body worship sacral chakra allow yourself to feel allow yourself to change allow yourself to heal um then things can come in for you okay what is the angel message here okay so abundance and then the answer is no 
So leave all the karmic stuff behind, really, is what I take from that. Um, okay. Let's see. Okay, what is the message here for them, please? What is the message here? Just let me get a handle of them. What is the message here, please? just one they usually pop all out but it's just this one it says imagine all unwanted things thoughts dissolving into light creating room for new opportunities and possibilities in your life so at this moment you're supposed to let go of those insecurities and the things that you've sort of maybe settled for you know and now recreate things um <clears throat> let's see <clears throat> let's see where did it go okay so let's close it off with the soul message for today please what is the soul message I have I feel like my my throat is just scratchy for whatever reason okay what is the soul message please okay so I feel like it's this one so, what do I believe about money? Do my beliefs match my dreams? So, how does your relationship with money affect your current situation? Do you believe you are worthy? Do you believe you are capable? Do you trust money? Does money trust you? Money is an energy of ebbs and flows. You're worthy of it. And it's your responsibility to heal your relationship with money as a part of your waking up to the whole of you and your purpose. So today's action, take a deep dive in your belief system around money. Are you, are there any beliefs you need to upgrade or to create the results you are wanting most in your life? Write out your money story. Is it time for a sacred shift? What will your next chapter be? Fill in the blank. I am grateful to money because... So are we driven by money, guys? Is this somebody who's staying in a relationship because of money? Or you're just learning how to deal with the fact that, you know, you've had loss in money, you know? Which makes you just sort of have less, you know? So this one came out as well, so I'm going to do two. That might pertain to someone else, and this one might pertain to you. Does my life have room for more pleasure and play? I want, I'm sorry, in what area are you lacking pleasure right now? Maybe in certain relationships or with work. Is it possible to shift the seriousness to life to experience a more creative, wild, and playful side of you? What would happen if you added more play and laughter into your life, what area is lacking this right now? Take time to let, take time to play, let go of any need to produce anything. So it's just asking you to go deep within yourself and really recognize what is it you truly want and what is it that you're holding yourself back from, okay? So there you go. I do hope this helps you in some shape shape or form um continue to pray for you guys daily i do value and just thank you for being here with me today thank you so much i'll see you guys tomorrow stay blessed